The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, Is a lamp brought in to be placed under a bushel basket or under a bed, and not to be placed on a lampstand? For there is nothing hidden except to be made visible. Nothing is secret except to come to light. Anyone who has ears to hear ought to hear. He also told them, Take care what you hear. The measure with which you measure will be measured out to you, and still more will be given to you. To the one who has, more will be given. From the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. The Gospel of the Lord. You know, at some point this morning, I thought, this is, this is a really simple, straightforward gospel passage. <laughs> and then in, in the act of proclaiming it, uh, something else has been, has been revealed. It's, uh, it's, it is a bit tricky. It is a bit tricky. I think uh, what's, what's perhaps simple about it is um, the, uh, the, the connection, the God-given connection that we have this morning. This, this gospel passage is not uh, actually connected to uh, the feast of uh, St. Timothy and Titus, um, but we, because that's on a, uh, like a, a calendar, right? That's on a date, and this is on, on a day, right? So this is uh, the third week in ordinary time, Thursday of the third week in ordinary time. So the, um, they, don't, they don't often go together, and yet uh, we, we can see the one through the lens of the other. Is a lamp to be brought in a place under a bushel basket, right? We, we have the, the, the apostolic endeavors, the ministry of, of St. Paul, um, winning, uh, winning converts uh, for Christ, uh, drawing them into, into the life of God, um, having them live out this you know, renewed image bearing, themselves becoming uh, proclaimers of, uh, of the gospel of Jesus. It's clear that the light that has been enkindled in them uh, is shining out brightly uh, to, uh, I don't know, to the far reaches of, uh, of the earth. And the, the, when we have some sense of, okay, well, th this makes sense, right? Jesus has called his apostles to himself, and, uh, and, he's, and he's saying he's called his disciples to himself. He said, and he's talking about a lamp being lit, and it's not to be placed under a lampstand. So he's, he's in the process of, uh, you know, enkindling the, the fire of divine love in his, in his followers. He's saying it's not, it's not for nothing that that happens. And we know also, and not just because it's part of, of our mission statement, that that same, that same activity is what, we are, what we're gathered here for as well. We're, we are here to have the fire of divine love enkindled in us anew. You know, every, every day as we're caught up in this uh, liturgical action. And it's not, but it's not simply that we can you know, sit here and enjoy the, the kind of warmth and, and radiance of, of God's love for us. That, that is true, uh, but we also have to take that take that light out in service, in mission, in order to, uh, to light up God's darkened world. So the, the, perhaps that, perhaps you're just getting a sense that I only read the first half of the gospel passage in my, in my preparations this morning, and, uh, and uh, that's uh, not exactly true, but it's, <laughs> it's close to reality. It's close to reality. Um, the, rest of, the rest of the stuff is, yeah, of course, it's, um, it, it, it should be of interest to us. Uh, nothing's hidden except to be made visible. Nothing is secret except to come to light. I mean, this, we're talking about God's plan. We're talking about the fact that we have, we have been summoned by Jesus to be part of his uh, renewed Israel mission. Right? We're, we're being renewed as a people so that we can, um, we can help restore God's, uh, God's good creation. So nothing is, nothing is hidden except to be made visible. Right? There, we, 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 ha we have to be, as we are summoned to be, we're caught up in, in God's purposes. We're also then accountable to God. Right? It's, it's not as though we're all kind of making our own plan, our own plan for success. We have our own agenda. We're check, you know, we've got our own check boxes. We're, we're making our way through our daily task, whatever. No, all, all of this, all of our activity as, as Christians and as, as disciples has to be referred to God. Right? I mean, every, everything is His. It's, and it's his, and it, really it's his plan that we want to be uh, caught up in, even, even in the very details uh, of our hearts and lives. Yeah, and then anyone who has ears to hear ought to hear. There's also this sense of the gradual unveiling of, of God's plan, right? So Jesus wants his disciples to know that you know, nothing, nothing that you do, even, even with me behind closed doors, none of this is in vain. And actually we'll have some 
effect. It will, it will come to light. It might not come to light in the way that you expect it to. Right? It was, I mean, it was interesting. I was with the, I was with the kids uh, yesterday. I think it was, I want to give credit where credit's due. I think it was um, uh, fourth grade. And uh, yeah, and, the, and uh, was, asking, was asking the kids, we're talking about, we're talking about the demands of love, believe it or not. Yeah, of course, you, of course, that's what you were doing. Yeah, we were talking about love. And I would say, um, they started talking about siblings and stuff, because guess what? We were talking about how difficult it is to love some people. So they said <laughs> almost immediately, well, this is, uh, yeah, like our siblings, right? I was like, uh, yeah, I mean, yes, I think that's right. <laughs> you know, I think that's right. But why were you given families? Why were you put in families? And, and very, very quickly, the answer came to say, so that, so that we could learn how to love. I say, yeah, well, this, this is this, this is a school of love, the family, and a school, a school of love uh, that, that, we are op, that we are operating also in this classroom and, and, and so on and so forth. Now, but the reality is that, you know, this is where we say, okay, like what is hidden comes to light, right? Because the training that is, that is received by the, by the child and hopefully in direct tutelage um, to Jesus uh, it itself has an impact everywhere else. Yeah, so it's, it's not as though we can say, um, you know, not, not do the work on the inside and then expect to be able to do it on the outside. And some of that also relates to the work, not only do we do in families, but the, but the work that we do or that we allow God to do in us, right? What, what, what has the most powerful effect on, on your day-to-day -day living, on what you're going to be doing today? It's the, it's the, the hidden stuff of your heart as you come before God in this in this you know um, this intimate relationship of discipleship that He's called you into, right? This is what's going to have the greatest impact on on your on your uh, living today. So th this is I think Jesus right drawing our attention to this kind of inside outside world, whatever, however wherever we want to put the, those um, those uh, those lines of demarcation, um, but. But here it is, right? It's 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 all important. And if if we if we understand, if we know ourselves to be, um, to be to have, if we know ourselves to be lit up by God's love, then we can expect that He wants that also to to have an effect outside of here. We can expect that, yeah. And and Jesus is doing that as as he's as he's winding up this uh, this uh, renewed Israel movement. He's he's pushing them also out. He has to push them out. Because it's not a matter of like am amassing all the light for themselves. The, is, is, the Israel of his time is trying to do that, and he's and he's working against that with with some force. And then the the same here, right? The same kind of pattern applies. Take care of what you hear, of course. Right? Take take care what take care what you consume. Take care what uh, you imbibe as uh, say the the mission and purpose of of Israel, the mission and purpose of your life. Right. And take care what take care what you hear about what your life is about, because th those messages come flooding in from everywhere. And yet here is Jesus, right, lining them up for for what is truly theirs. And then the measure with which you measure will be measured out to you, and still more will be given to you. Right to um, to the one who has more will be given, from the one who has not even what he has will be taken away. This I mean this is just the in part the dynamic of grace. Yeah, it's just a sense of um, you know there there is there is endless more to God. Right? Are, are we committed to him? Are, do we want to go all in on God? And going all in on God is not simply like, okay, well, I've done it. I've done it once, okay? Like, that's, that's it, right? No, it's not, it's not once for all. Not, not for our hearts, it's not. Every day has to be that, that yes to God that seeks to go with him to the very depths. And we find out that the depths are endless, right? Not only the, the depths of, of uh, his love for us, and our growing capacity to receive his love, but as we grow in our capacity to receive his love and have him fill us to overflowing, so to the depths of his love for the other who, uh, whom he has made us to serve. So we, ha we have to get caught up in that. We have, to keep, we have to keep pushing in with Jesus, and when we find that we push in with Jesus day in, day out, there's more and there's more and there's more for us. It's, when we, it's, it's only when we stop and say, yeah, you know, I think this is enough. <laughs> you know, like, I surely God, surely God, I've done enough now. This is like en enough, enough pushing in, enough, enough all in, as Father Daniel would say. I just, I don't want to do it. Can I have my, hedge my bets today? This is when you're going to lose everything, right? This is, the, this is the challenge. When we start drawing lines with God and say, you know, uh, mm, I think this is enough. Like this is uh, here and no more. 
Do you know? This is, this is where we're going to start to move back in, in the other direction. Yeah, we're going to move into more superficiality and whatever. So it's just, it, this, is, this is the dynamic of our, our relationship with God, our relationship with Christ. He's calling us out into the, de into the depths. He's calling us out beyond ourselves. And it's ours to just keep saying yes and to go. Right? And, and not, I think, really because we're, because we're motivated by the idea that um, if, we, if, we, um, if we stop saying yes, we're going to lose everything. I don't think for us this is, this is, of course, the right motivation. It's just that he, he has more for us than even we would be inclined to, to take or receive for ourselves. And we, trusting him and loving him in obedience, follow his call. And we give ourselves to him because, I don't know, we, because, because it's the way and we know it. We know it, and we know that we, we have a good and provident Father who, who cares for us, who, who cares for us with, with, a, with a depth of love that we can only imagine, except that we, re, except that we get glimmers of, um, of, of what it is and, and how capacious it is um, when, when we receive it. And this is, what, this is what he wants to do today with us, to, be, to catch us up into his own life of love, to, to enkindle um, our, our hearts and lives with the, with the fire of divine love so that we could, re so that we could light up uh, his entire world. Dear brothers and sisters, gathered as one to celebrate the good things we have received from our God, let us ask him to prompt in us prayers that are worthy of his hearing. Our response will be, Lord, have mercy. For Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, and all the clergy, with the people entrusted to their charge, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For those who hold public office and those who assist them in promoting the common good, let us pray to the Lord. Lord For those who travel by sea, land, or air, for captives and all held in prison, let us pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered in this sacred place by faith and devotion and by love and reverence for God, let us pray to the Lord. May the petitions of your church be pleasing in your sight, O Lord, so that we may receive from your mercy what we cannot ask out of confidence in our own merits, through Christ our Lord. Our Mass this morning is offered for Carl LaGrasse. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. <clears throat> Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, which we bring in celebration of Saints Timothy and Titus. And in your kindness, render us fully acceptable by giving us sincerity of heart, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of Saints Timothy and Titus you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of their holy lives, teach her by their words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to their prayers. 
And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Kevin, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, nourish in us that faith taught by the preaching of the apostles and kept safe by the labors of Saints Timothy and Titus, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Okay, my friends, thanks for uh, joining us this morning. Always good to, to be with you. Uh, this, uh, you know, these, uh, these acts of our, of our devotion, of our dedication uh, to God. Um, yeah, how it is he, uh, he inspires us, he breathes his life into us so that we can um, not only see what must be done, but have the strength to, uh, have the strength to do it. So yes, my friends, he's sending us out today, and perhaps not quite like St. Paul, but he's sending us out into, into our own space, the space that he's entrusting to us uh, to bring his love to life there. So we go with the, um, of course, the, the strength of our uh, fraternal support and, uh, and the love of God to guide us in all things. So good to be with you this morning, my friends. We look forward to seeing you sometime soon. <laughs>